1973, in the Peruvian Amazon, we see Constance, the protagonist's mother, on a spider research expedition with Ezekiel Sims, who assists Constance with her research. Ezekiel takes photos of the spider investigation. Constance finds the spider she was looking for, so Ezekiel kills Constance to take the spider from her. Then some jungle spider men appear and take Constance to a cave so she can give birth there. And that's how the protagonist Cassandra Webb is born. Cassandra's mother dies. And so it begins. Welcome to Random Recaps. In this video, I am going to recap the movie. Years later in 2003 in New York, Cassie is now a paramedic in Manhattan. She's with her friend Ben Parker. And she almost hits Maddie Franklin, a girl who will become relevant later. Then at the hospital, we see Julia Cornwall, another girl who will become relevant later. After the Ben tells Cassie he's dating a girl. Later, Cassie goes to her apartment and there we see Anya Corazon. She enters her apartment and gives milk to her kitten. Then Cassie starts remembering her mother and looking through her research notes. Then we see Cassie and Ben in action helping a person in a car accident. The car falls into the water with Cassie trapped inside. And there she somehow develops psychic abilities as a clairvoyant. Ben helps her get out of the water. While Ben checks her, Cassie has visions of Ben's future checking her. Although at that moment she thinks Ben checked her twice. Later we see Ezekiel having visions of spider women fighting and killing him. So we see that Ezekiel also has the power to see the future. Ezekiel, out of fear of dying, wants to find those spider girls to kill them before they kill him. After telling all this to the woman he was with, the woman gets scared and wants to kill Ezekiel, so Ezekiel poisons her. This woman works at the NSA. Then Cassie goes to meet up with Ben where Ben's sister-in-law Mary Parker, who is expecting a baby, so they throw her a baby shower. Cassie has another vision where they ask her what Mary's baby's name would be. But she thinks they asked her twice. So all the women look at her with a what-the-fuck face. Ben arrives to tell Cassie there's a fire. So they go and start helping all the injured. Cassie starts having visions of blood on her hands and of one of the paramedics injured. So she asks him to accompany her, but he doesn't want to, her vision comes true, and the paramedic has an accident. Cassie runs to help him, but the paramedic dies. Why? 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 Then we meet Amaria, Ezekiel's tech assistant, helping him find the girls from his visions. Cassie goes to get her eyes checked because she thinks there's something wrong with them, but the doctor says everything is normal. So Cassie goes home to rest, Ben calls her to go to O'Neill's funeral. She makes some popcorn and a bird stumbles on her window when she goes to check there's nothing there. And the popcorn isn't ready yet. So it's another vision. She opens the window and the dove appears. At that moment Cassie realizes she can change things that will happen. Amaria finds the girls and tells Ezekiel. Cassie gets on the subway. Then she has another vision where she sees Ezekiel attacking Anya Corazon. On the subway, Julia Cornwall enters, Cassie also watches as they attack her, and the same with Maddie Franklin. Cassie feels like she's going crazy from so many visions. Maddie Franklin enters the subway. Cassie was going to leave the subway, but then Ezekiel arrives and Cassie tells the girls to get off the train. Ezekiel sees them and they start running. Cassie has a vision that she is going to be arrested. Ezekiel appears disguised as a Spider-Man and chases them. The girls get on another subway. They get off the subway, the police were going to arrest Cassie, but then Ezekiel appears and attacks the police. Cassie and the girls steal a taxi. They all introduce themselves and say their names. On the radio, they say the police think Cassie kidnapped the girls. The girls go to the woods to hide from Ezekiel. And they ask Cassie how she knew the guy wanted to kill them, even though Cassie doesn't even know who he is. Cassie tells the girls she can see the future, but Maddie laughs and the others don't believe her. Cassie leaves the girls in the woods. Cassie goes to her apartment and searches through her mother's research on spiders. About spider people. According to the folklore of the region, they possess powers derived from spider venom. They are fast and climb like spiders. And I don't know why, but Cassie tries to climb like a spider to see if she has those powers. And obviously she doesn't have them. In a photo, Cassie realizes that the guy who attacked them is the same one in the photo with her mother. Then the girls, tired of being there, go to a restaurant to eat dinner. A guy reads about the girls' kidnapping in the newspaper and calls the police. So Amaria realizes and tells Ezekiel to go for them. Cassie back in the woods realizes the girls left, and she finds tracks and follows them to the restaurant, where she finds them dancing. Ezekiel enters. 
He hits Julia and attacks Cassie. Then he grabs Maddie and throws her. Cassie tries to attack him with a knife, but he stabs it. It was all a vision Cassie never left. So Cassie gets in a taxi and goes for the girls. Ezekiel enters the restaurant and Cassie bumps into him. Ezekiel grabs Cassie. The girls get in the car and Cassie manages to escape with them. And she scolds them for leaving the woods. Amaria looks for Cassie's identity. And she tells Ezekiel that she is Constance's daughter. Cassie takes the girls to a motel to hide. They ask her if she can stop the guy with her visions, but Cassie says she doesn't control the visions. The girls ask Cassie to take care of them, but Cassie leaves. Cassie returns to the restaurant. Ezekiel tells her he poisoned her and tells her that the girls are going to kill him in the future and that the girls will have powers in the future. And it was all a vision Cassie never left. The next day, Cassie tells the girls that Ezekiel can poison them if he touches them and the longer he touches them, the poison can reach their hearts. So she teaches them CPR. Cassie wants to go to Peru to find answers about the spiders, so she leaves the girls with Ben. Cassie in Peru follows the photos and then finds a guy who knew Cassandra's mom. And he takes her to where she was born. The guy throws his astral part or whatever into the water and there Cassie sees the past when they kill her mother. We see that the guy tried to save Constance, but they only managed to save Cassie. Further into the past, we see a doctor telling Constance that Cassie has a neuromuscular disorder, although Cassie says she doesn't have it. And since the disorder has no cure, Constance went looking for a cure in Peru with the spiders. Cassie hugs her mother in her vision. The guy tells her that if she masters her power, she can use the spider web to be in more than one place at the same time. Ezekiel is getting frustrated about not finding the girls. While Ben continues to take care of them at Mary's house, who says her water broke, so Ben and the girls take her to the hospital. So Amaria finds them. Cassie returns to New York and realizes the girls aren't at home and has a vision about them having an accident so she steals an ambulance to go get them. Ezekiel also goes for them and appears in front of them. Then Cassie appears and runs him over. A bomb Ezekiel had explodes. Cassie gets the girls into the ambulance and they shock Ezekiel to make him fall. Cassie uses her powers to see the future. She calls for air support. Then she gives the girls fireworks to be able to put them in boxes. Ezekiel arrives. The boxes start exploding from the fireworks. The girls start running towards the roof where a helicopter is, but the fireworks explode the roof and Cassie uses a piece as a shield. Cassie has another vision. Ezekiel appears and diverts a firework to the helicopter. Ezekiel strangles Cassie. Maddie tries to help her but can't. Anya and Julia too, but they're about to fall. So Cassie uses her power and summons clones that help the girls, Ezekiel hits her. Ezekiel tries to kill Cassie but is struck by the giant letters. Then he falls and is crushed. Cassie also falls into the water. A firework hits her in the eyes. Julia pulls Cassie out of the water. And the three girls perform CPR on her. Cassie survives but is now blind. Then we see Mary giving birth. And Cassie recovering. Then Cassie in a wheelchair. Cassie sees the future of the girls turned into spider women. And at the end we see them all in their suits and that's the end of the movie.